Hey, what's up? It's recording. Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, this is Travis Clark, and I'm Jenny Robinson. And and you're here <laughs> with another episode live. of something. Vlog we day decided 82. that we <laughs> we decided that we were going to reenact our very first date. It was an amazing date, and you're going to see all of it firsthand. We met literally eight months ago to I didn't the day. I really think it was a date. <laughs> <laughs> I totally thought it was a date, but that's what dudes do. We overthink things. Um, I wanted to show you guys this because this is the most amazing thing I probably ever received in my entire life. Jenny, for Christmas this year, well, technically last year, uh, did a whole book of text story of our love. So every text I ever sent her up to Christmas literally is in this book. So just to give you an idea, I mean, just it pages and pages and pages and pages and pages. And she put things and... It's literally, it's overwhelming. It's awesome. It's the most loving, caring thing I've ever received in my life. Anyway, so we went to the page right before our first date, which was September 19th, or if Jenny wants to refer to it as not a date, our first meeting. We figured all of this out, you know? Yeah, it goes in, our sunset, that's us. Jenny drew that. <laughs> She's very artistic. Babe. <laughs> and that's us at Runyon on the date. I don't know if we held hands, but. And Did then this picture. is the picture that I took. She's like, we made it, and she goes, today I realized I only want to watch the sunset with you. So we decided that we would reenact every moment of that entire day. She's gonna do it with her camera, I'm gonna do it with my camera, and we're gonna put it all together, and then you'll have a reenactment of our very first date, eight months later to the day. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's go do this. Let's go on a date. So I literally just left the house. Jenny's back at home. I, um, on our first date, I went and bought fourth smoothies because I didn't know what flavor she would like or what fruits or vegetables or, or anything like that. So I got four smoothies for the two of us just uh, to make sure that I got her something that she really liked. But here's the truth. The truth is, is that I love Jenny more than I ever imagined ever being able to love somebody. She means more to me than even my own life, and uh, she thinks that we're doing this reenactment for our first date, and uh, and I have a little surprise for her. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Um, I asked her dad because I thought that would be like the gentleman thing, the classy thing to do, and you know he welcomed me into the family before uh, before she even knew. So <sighs> we're gonna go do the reenactment of the date, but um, but when we get to the top. I'm going to do something special, which obviously you know because you just saw the ring. <laughs> Alright, so Travis just left to go do his portion of the date, the hangout if you will. So I am here, I was at my apartment getting ready when he texted me uh, to go do a hike and I was thinking to myself, I'm like, I don't want to shower or like get ready because that looks look like I'm trying too hard, right? So I pretty much... I'm wearing what I wore the first day we hung out. What? <laughs> and I didn't wash my hair or take a shower, pretty gross, but I was like, there's no point. I'm going on a hike. I'm not trying to impress him because really I was like, I thought he was cool. I knew I thought he was cool from our conversation the night before. I like really got along with him and our our talk was awesome and he was outgoing and funny. So I knew I liked his personality, but I wasn't really in the mindset to start dating, I guess. Um, I was open, but I just wasn't really thinking about it. So I, so I was thinking of it as a hangout and I say yes to everything because I love meeting people and getting to know people. Um, so I thought, why not? I'm here at the juice spot right now, but I got to, uh, because I'm starting to feel like she might know what's happening. I doubt she does, but I need to make it seem like it's just a normal day and that we're just doing this for the vlog. So I'm gonna call her right now and uh, and just bring up something just about the rest of the day to, uh, to throw her off. Hey, lover. Hey, babe. Um, hey, I just talked to Blake. Would you, after all this stuff or whatever you wanna do tonight, would you wanna run in and uh, record Runaway? <laughs> yes, that's totally what I meant. Um, yeah, he just called and said uh, he hopes you're feeling better from the crash and uh, that he could do it today if we wanted to. Oh, Okie dokie. All right, I'll call you when I leave the juice spot. Okay, uh, I love you. Okay, I love you. Bye. 
nailed it. My first impressions of Travis, well, when I met him at Blue Jam, which was the first place we met, um, again, I wasn't thinking anything. His roommate had tried to hit on me, and so I was like, mm, I'm not sure about these guys. And then Travis spoke up, and he told me I was the most beautiful girl he's ever seen. And I was like, what? That's really sweet. And he said it from such a genuine place that it kind of made me think a little bit. I'm walking up to the juice spot now, some juice bar in Hollywood. I'm so thankful I don't live here anymore. I would like to order a Hollywood juice, a Sunset juice, a Cocoa Monkey, and a Mean Machine. I didn't know what Jenny wanted, so I literally bought her four smoothies, all different things. So in order for Jenny to actually believe that we were just doing this whole reenactment of our first date for the vlog, I wrote down like questions for her to answer of like, what was your first impression? Um, did you ever think it could ever be something? What was your escape plan? And I actually remember like sitting down in this juice stand literally eight months ago, thinking to myself like, I think she is like the most incredible person I've ever met in my life. and. There was just something about it that I knew it was different from from everything else that, that I had done. Every person that I had met, she was just different in a way that I couldn't explain. And uh, I don't know, I just I knew that it was special even before we went on our first date. Which is kind of crazy to say. I might sound like a lunatic, but it's just the truth. There they are. Oh, and we got extra. Five smoothies. I did have a backup plan. Me and my girlfriend, Audra, were supposed to get dinner that night. So I was like, oh yeah, we can go on a hike and then I have to go meet my girlfriend for dinner. But when we were on the hike, I actually enjoyed him so much. I, Well, I got a text from my girlfriend and said she had to cancel dinner. And I was actually really excited inside because I wanted to keep hanging out with Travis. So um, I told him that my girlfriend canceled. And after the hike, we went to get dinner, me and Travis at a sushi place. And the night just like, we hung out all night. It was awesome. And that's that. So now I'm gonna go meet Travis at Runyon um, for a hike. Let's do this. <laughs> it's harder than I remember to walk with five smoothies in my hand. The guy in there uh, knew the band We The Kings, obviously, <laughs> the band that I play in. Um, and he was like, dude, can I give you a picture with you? And I was like, yeah, just as long as you don't say anything <laughs> about what I'm doing, because that would be detrimental to my plan. All right, time to go meet Jenny. Let's do this. Nervous and excited all at the same time. It's crazy to think that on our first date, like what, what it would have built into, what the relationship ended up building into. Um, it's just, it's, it's crazy to think about, just to go back to all the, all the amazing times that we've had so far and, and all the, you know, hopefully if she says yes, all the amazing times we'll have in the future. It's very exciting. There they are, spilling already, just like they did in the first one. <laughs> Made it to Runyon Canyon. Um, I was first on our hangout. Um, he showed up second, so this is pretty accurate because he's not here yet either. I think at this point I was a little nervous. So yeah, what? I'm here. I'm almost there. I just had like a flashback of what I was thinking right before the date. I remember thinking to myself like, damn, this girl is so hot. Why is she coming on a date with me? Um, but she was also so nice and so sweet and she was from Florida. Like, it was totally like the stars align on my side. <laughs> but I just have no idea what she could have been thinking. Um, I'm, I'm happy that she came. I was lucky to be going on the date. I was like, stoked. <laughs> She's so hot, it's awesome. She's still so hot to me. Yeah, like I said, at this point I was trying to like be cool and just breathe and not get in my head and thoughts and you know, freak myself out. So I was like, just thinking like, yeah, I'm just gonna go on a hike, this is awesome. I think he actually called me probably. Let's call him back, he's probably lost like he was. And he didn't answer, not cool. I'm actually pulling up right now. Jenny got there early just so that she could say that she got there early, which actually happened on the reenactment, but I have to hide this thing so that she doesn't get it, so she doesn't see it, because she gets in the car and holds the juices. We both go park, and then we go on a walk after she picks her favorite juice. We actually tried all of them, so I'm gonna hide this in my pocket. They need to make slimmer cases. That's just on a totally side note. Oh God, here we go. Wish me luck. 
Hey, you wanna hop in? All right, get in here. And this is right about where I told her that I didn't know what flavor she would like, so I got you five juices. They had extra. So this is when I said I'll just jump in so we can find a spot um, to park. Which we're and, doing. Which we're doing, and he told me he got me four different smoothies and told me which, all the flavors and stuff. I don't know which spot we parked in, but it's, it seems like seems as good as right. any. Well, we tried every one of them, so. Yeah, we did. Let's do it. Shall we? I'll go ahead and take this. I believe I gave you the uh, first dips since I'm a gentleman. What do you think of that one? Yeah, good. Okay, and then she tried that one. And that one. <laughs> that just looked ridiculous for two people. It's too many. And he got me smoothies last time, not fresh juices, but I think this time he got it because he knew I liked juices. Okay, which one oh, do you I want? Didn't, I didn't try this one. That's the Cocoa Monkey. Oh yeah, I didn't try it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just see. Get in there. I think I'll take this one. Okay, perfect. Now, <laughs> I go ahead and I try them all and then and then I'll we uh, we one. say, let's go on a hike. Which one is that one? The Carrot, Carrot Apple Ginger. Yeah. Good choice. Just so we're perfectly correct, she's actually, she wore that hat and those pants, wherever they are, and, and, uh, and those shoes, and she brought me the hoodie that I wore from the house. So thoughtful of you in 90 degree weather. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> okay, we are on the hike. I remember we talked about our families yeah, a, lot. a lot. You kind of gave me the rundown of your family, how you come from an awesome mom and an awesome dad, and yeah, there were four girls, you and your three sisters, and then I told you I had a sister in New York, brother and then I had two like half half sisters I really confused you I took you for a loop okay this is where the trail breaks off and we do some real hiking I remember babe real hiking. <laughs> well I'm, I say that now because I'm reenacting but I remember she was like you know fitness pro she loved hiking she used to run like a three mile um, a 5k if you will, 5K, if you will Canyon that was she wouldn't stop but it was like a it was like incline like crazy um, so I remember like trying to play it really cool, really but I was like, I was sweating. I remember I was panting almost, but she was like, are you okay? I was like, I'm fine, I'm fine, it's just easy. <laughs> it's a piece of cake. This is a beautiful backdrop. We're about, I think halfway, right? Yeah. And this is where it gets a little crazy well, because- I go first so we could look at my butt. Totally true. Uh, full disclosure, absolutely 100% true. But it does also, she did this all the time, so I didn't know. I don't want to slip and fall on the first date. It'd be embarrassing. There's like cacti, so if you uh, fall and need to like catch yourself, catch <laughs> needles. <laughs> all right, I see your butt. Just saying, I'm reenacting. This is a point of view thing. Look at these things. Ugh. Why does that exist? She's way up there. A hiking professional. She beat me. It's actually a really cool picture though. I was actually trying to go slower last time we did this. Say that yeah, yeah. Really? That's so nice of you. It's making me feel very manly. Look at this though, it's so beautiful. Look at it. You can sort of see the Hollywood sign. Los Angeles, Hollywood, Beverly Hills, West Hollywood. On a clear day, you can pretty much see the water. It's pretty awesome. And then, she sat on this bench and took this following picture. Ready? Yeah. It's pretty similar. Well, this was kind of it. I mean, we hiked all the way to the top. We had like an amazing conversation. We even went to go get sushi afterwards because... I told her. I told them already. You told the camera? Yeah. I was uh, I was nervous that she would have like a like an escape plan, which she did. I think I told you, right? She didn't use it. Yeah. Here, I was like my friend. I'm supposed to get dinner with my girlfriend, but then my girlfriend texted me. So that's it. That's the reenactment of our first date. I hope you guys enjoyed the ride. Eight months later. Eight months later, we're happily in love. Huh? 
Oh, we can actually, yeah, here, let's take a picture. I can, I'll just leave it running. I'll take the screenshot. Stan. Remember the, the crazy picture we took? Yeah. <laughs> we can do anything. I know. <laughs> it actually really is beautiful. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. So the real reason I brought you on this hike was <laughs> Tell you I love you. Uh huh. And uh. <clears throat> They're fucking lying right now. Would you marry me? <laughs> what? Babe, are you joking? In front of all these people. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I could tell that you were like nervous and I'm like, what's happening? I'm, so, I'm literally sweating. It's not because it's so hot outside. Oh my god, I love you so much. I love you. Yes.